Hi, yeah, so it has been ages since I have filmed a video for YouTube. Um, life has been a bit crazy. Um, yeah, I've just been super, super busy and just haven't had time. And I kind of fell off the pan and wagon a bit. I just was a little bit overwhelmed with everything. Um, and I also wasn't really very happy with the quality of some of the videos that I was able to produce. Um, so I have kind of made a few investments in some light and stuff that I haven't quite sorted out because today's good natural light, ironically. Um, but yeah, um, I am hopefully back with some better video quality videos and I'm going to wipe the slate clean on my projects that I had running and start again and just start afresh and just hopefully feel less bogged down by everything. So first thing I am going to do today is give you an update on my pan that palette challenge because I am sticking with that because my progress is going so well with that. So I'm panning the Balm Nude Tude palette. Um, I will go ahead and try and find a photo of where I am was at on my last update it has been two months I think I think um but that will be here about is where I am at now so as you can see there is quite a bit of difference between the light shades and the dark shades um there is barely anything left of stubborn. I've got a good pan going on both sultry and snobby. Um, and um, there's fairly good dip in standoffish. Um, snobby, I tend to use sort of as a blending out shade because it's kind of yellowy toned and I do have quite a yellow tone. Um, sultry I've been using as a crease and um, is that snobby? I got it wrong. That's snobby. Um, what's that one say? Stubborn I have been using just as the base really on top of everything. Um, so progress is going well with this. Obviously there is a big difference with the darker shades and stuff but it is summer at the moment so I'm not really wanting to use them too much. I am using sleek sort of underneath in places an eyeliner and silly most days as well just in the corner but to be honest with you the others I'm kind of hanging on particularly this shade here sexy I'm hanging on for sort of an autumnal look later on in the year so in terms of setting myself goals for the next month I would like to finish off stubborn which I think is not going to be a problem whatsoever um, I'd like to hit pan on standoffish and obviously expand the pans on these two here which is snobby and sultry. I was trying to think if there's anything we think we can do. I, I would like to see if I can hit pan on selfish as well but I don't know how realistic that is if I'm trying because these kind of two are similar sort of feel. Sh Although they're different shades they are kind of like similar sort of because they're both shimmers. I would use them in a similar way so I wouldn't be necessarily using them together um, but we will see. So that is my update for my project no, start again, my pan that palette challenge, um, feel I'm doing okay, uh, yeah, this lot is definitely going to be finished by the end of the year, that I'm not so sure, but we will see how we go. Thank you for watching and I will catch up with you later, bye.